When these teenagers become pregnant, they're sent to our school. And then here is where you know we provide a foundation that they won't find anywhere else. Uh, we're very nurturing here. We do everything that, uh, well, we provide everything they need to succeed. And robotics FRC is just like an extra platform for them because a lot of these students, they're confined to the valley. In Sotomayor, the help that they give you is like you would not find it anywhere else. Here, um, I'm actually two years behind in school, and since I've got here, they done everything they can for I can get my credits up faster to graduate the year that I'm supposed to graduate. Just because we are moms doesn't mean that we are limited in what we can do, but we also build each other up because we know each other's hardships. We've been through a lot of um, situations that maybe our fellow classmate has gone through also, so we try and build each other up. I came back to school because I don't want my kids to see me as a dropout or somebody that didn't get a career. Like I want to push myself into it and be somebody better for them. So I want for them to see like, oh, mom was a teen mom, but she pushed it. She has a career now and she did it for us. So I want them to see a big person of me, like not just a dropout, like a lot of people had me before. Realmente cuando llegué a competir tenía muchos nervios, um, pensé que realmente no iba a poder, pero al ver la convivencia que había entre el equipo y el apoyo de los demás equipos uh, me acoplé más fácil y realmente me gustó. Uh, it's complicated building a robot without any distractions or limitations. But it's even harder building a robot and being a part of robotics, juggling school, college courses, and having a child to look after. When they found out I was pregnant, my dad kind of joked around saying, you know, you're my first strike. But recently he's seen a lot of things and he's reflected that I've done and I'm still doing. And he tells me like, no, you weren't my first strike, you know. Maybe you had a foul ball along the, the batting way. But so far, Mija, you've done a home run. And you know, it means a lot because I do feel that other um, you know, girls that might have gone pregnant might have dropped out. My mom dropped out of school. She did go back to get her GED, but I'm still pushing for my college education and all that good stuff because my parents don't have their college education. So I feel like I'm doing good. I became very excited about the opportunity due to the fact that not only did we make a difference in our students' lives by offer, offering their, them opportunities in uh, FRC, but their, their kids as well. And, you know, we all benefit from this. But if we treat every student as if they have uh, the potential, the students will step to the, up to the plate and they will perform. They don't realize it, but they have more of an impact on, on some of the other teams than they know, you know. Not just because they're all female, but because they're parents as well. Um, and just the fact that they're there is, I mean, everybody's going to think, you know, that's crazy. It's, but they're there, and I think they're actually more inspirational than they would think, you know. They're examples, and I think they said a good one. Sí se puede.